The first common mistake is closing the MSI afterburner window. Instead, minimize the MSI afterburner window. Now, try to see if the on-screen display is working. Check if you have set the shortcut to display the on-screen values. To do that, go to the MSI Afterburner on-screen display tab. Now check if you have set the shortcut. If you have set the shortcut, go to a game and use that shortcut. To go to the Riva Tuner server, go to MSI Afterburner setting. Next, click on on-screen display and then go to more. Now check if the show on-screen display is turned on. Also, check if the other values are similar to what I have shown in the video. The next possible solution is enabling a .dll file in the Riva Tuner. To do that, go to the Riva Tuner window. Next, click on Setup. Next, go to Plugins. Next, check the option Overlay Editor .dll. Next, go to General and check if your settings are similar to mine. Next, restart the software and check if it's working. If the previous four solutions did not work for you, then, check if any other monitoring software like Corsair ICUE or any other is running in the background. If there is any, close it and try using the MSI Afterburner. The next possible solution is updating all the drivers to the latest versions. The last solution that I could think of is doing a clean installation. To do a clean installation, first uninstall the MSI Afterburner software. While uninstalling make sure you delete all the user-created files and folders. To be sure, do a Windows search with the term MSI Afterburner and delete if you find any folder. After doing all the steps, download the latest version of MSI Afterburner and install it. For installation and setup, you can follow my step-by-step -step tutorial.